Guys, I'm so disappointed. And not just me, but the tennis world who was looking forward to this match today are just disappointed. I mean, you have the match that everyone's looking forward to, Carlos Alcaraz versus Novak Djokovic. And this might as well be the final because the final's probably not gonna live up to this level. <sighs> It's the semi-final in the French Open, and it was it was going well. I mean, Carlos Alcaraz was nervous at the beginning, so he was tight. He was making some errors here and there, but he picked it up. It got better as the nerves started to calm down a bit. And so we had a pretty good first set and a really good second set. Oh, it was there's some some really good points. I was like, this is the thing that Carlos Alcaraz says. Oh, there's no way he's getting that. What he got that like. How the fuck did he get that? And it's just, you just mind-blowingly fast and uh, just goes for every single ball, even though it looks like he can never make it. That's what was so fun to watch about Carlos Alcaraz. And he was doing that and it was, it was great. It was still really tight because both players are so good. And then in the third set, he's just cramped badly. Ah, uh, and then he couldn't move after that. It was pretty much game over, even though he kept playing until the match was over. It was just, it was game over after he cramped up. Oh, it was going so well. I was like, who's gonna make it? I mean, also Djokovic has a, had a bit of a injury timeout and he got some treatment on his arm. He wasn't 100% after that either. So his, his service speed dropped, his forehand, backhand speed dropped as well. So he wasn't 100%, but he was still playing really well. I mean, it wasn't like it was a huge issue on his game. So the fact that Alcaraz just cramped up and couldn't really play anymore, and he couldn't, he couldn't, he couldn't go for the balls at all. He was pretty much walking. So really disappointing, man. It was living up to the hype. The hype was there and it was living up to the hype. And then it just ended just when it was getting started. They had one set of piece and it, it looked like it was gonna be a huge long battle, but nope, cramped up. So, well, what can you do, right? Yeah, Carlos Alcaraz, Carlitos as he likes to be called, said he was really disappointed as well. Obviously he was probably the most disappointed that his body failed him. So everyone was bummed out. Out. And then the second semi-final happened and I, <laughs> I was falling asleep while I was watching it because it was okay There were some good points not as exciting and then it became one-sided and it was pretty easy between Kasparud Ruud and Sasha Zverev so well that was kind of to be expected in, in terms of the level of entertainment like the Alcaraz Djokovic match that was like a final level worthy match a championship match the final is gonna be Djokovic and Ruud unless Ruud can really pull off his best performance at his very best like if he played as well as he played today he might have a shot but he's never beaten Djokovic before in the head-to-head -head, so Djokovic is probably gonna win I mean that's expected probably won't be as entertaining as the Alcaraz match was at the beginning yeah what a bummer but at least we got to see a glimpse of what an amazing match it could have been. Well, Casper Ruud, please put on a good show on Sunday. Rooting for you to do well and prove everyone wrong that you have a real shot at this. A lot of people like Casper Ruud in terms of his personality. I do too. So please do well on Sunday, please. <laughs>